Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, today I'll be doing a mod tutorial where I'll show you how to use a handy program that will automatically install mods for you without you re reopening or opening your own jar. Well, today the program will be called um, Multi MC. Multi MC is basically um, inside this um, mod. There's a multiple instances instances of files, different jar files with different worlds, different saves, different everything and have have these have completely different types of um mods installed, um worlds and all that. Um well basically you go in after this re downloads don't know why it's downloading right now. Okay. Anyway, uh, basically you go in here, um, these have different mods and different bin files, it basically downloads like a normal Minecraft, but it creates different folders for each different mods, like so, um, I use this mod, I use this program to install a lot of mods because it's real easy, but um, I delete all my instances when I'm done, so I don't have that much mods really on this. Uh, is it downloaded yet? Uh, <coughs> it's 12 megabytes, I think. No. Um, 1000, 12,000, so that's 12 megabytes downloading right now. So it might take a bit. Um, um so when this downloads, <coughs> taking forever, I'll resume the recording. Mm. Well, I'm back recording, guys. Um, well, basically, uh, it was updating the new Jenkins build or something. I don't know. And so I just got to resume this. This is the basic layout when you start up Multi MC. It'll come up with snapshots and all that. Well, basically, um, you can check for updates here, getting info and all that. You can get help, but this hasn't been implemented yet. Um. This is the license and all that is where you can get multi MC. Um, this is report bug. Um, you can like open central mods folder. That means you can put mods in there. Um, it's just loading up. Oh, uh, don't mind that real quick. Pfft, my t my friend. Um, and so uh, I'm gonna make my Skype profile. Online status, so fine. Yep. And so basically, you can add a new instance, a copy a selected instance like one of these, import existing, the you can import your Minecraft.jar from Minecraft or on here. You can import that file into this so you can edit that. Or if you already have mods in manually installed here, you can just import it back over here. And you can reload all instances. That's me, basically. Um, thing. Okay. Um, I'll create a new instance here. Instance name. Test vid. Here. And it'll pop up right here. From this, you can rename, change anchor, add notes. Like I don't really care. And view folder. View folder is basically you can view the. Um, no. Wait, um, edit mods, no, not that. Uh, the first thing is you can change the icon. Cool. Okay. Um, I always like doing one of these because iron. Okay. Um, change the icon. Couldn't add any images to the images. Okay. Hmm. That's weird. Add icon. And you can add icons like whatever you want. Um, I'll just do public, no desktop, public, public, computer, local drive, users, and go to desktop photos, and I get my. And there it is. Okay, you can add images. Don't know why is that happening. We well, can. You must run in this instance. Yeah, you can. The first thing you have to do is run Minecraft. Um. Uh, la 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 la
la la la la la. See, you didn't mm -hmm. password. Best compromise in what? Well, this will download, and basically, after you download, you can add mods, instances. You can downgrade, you can upgrade, or you can go to the weekly new weekly snapshot. Um, you can also um, uh, create basically unlimited instances, so you can have many, many, many billions of instances as many as possible and you can you can go quick access by going here and go hey icons oh I couldn't add any icons well you can just edit them here it's real easy um and yeah we'll just wait until this downloads come on come on come on come on come on hurry up hurry up hurry up move your butt let's go let's go let's go uh it's gonna take so long doesn't it it only takes like a few seconds well, three seconds, I mean like 20 seconds, but uh, it's taking ages, billions of years. What? I'm gonna die before this stops. You never know. Come on. Come on. Get it on, right? Oh, by the way, sorry about for no videos for a while because pssst, I was a bit tired. And it's downloading, downloading, downloading. And yep, it's like this. What's that? Minus one, I love you. Okay. From this, you can go to snapshot. And you can choose any snapshot of the newest one anywhere. Um. I'll be right back. You said, got to be kidding me. So, oh, pss, if you guys saw that, and I just had to do something real quick. Anyway, or well, you can go to snapshot and you can pick the new snapshot, um, the one point thing release, and it'll just download from mojang.com. Um, you can go to downgrade, and you can downgrade to, um, like down to like alpha version or something. Yeah, go to alpha version. In dev, go down to alpha version. These are all beta releases. Um, and this one point, this is the full release of Minecraft here. Uh, here one point zero. Um, these are pre-releases and all that. Um, yeah. Oh no 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 no! Don't want to patch that. Um. And basically, you can add mods. Simple as this. Uh, I got a mod folder right here. And basically, you can drag and drop anything. Forge patch. I'll be installing. You gotta be kidding me. Um. Well, I'll be bring a mod loader, and I just install. Uh, copy that. Paste it back in here, and I'll uh, just run this again. Go test video. You go edit mods. You go to jar mods. Chuck that in, and mods folder mods, and we'll chuck that in. And close play. Um, and in and just yep, yep, it's loading up. Those. No. Yes. Yes. Cancel. And. Okay, let's create a new word. Yes, so I just delete those folders. Um, let's go. Let's go. Come on, load up world. You've got to be kidding me. Is it just me or is this taking a century? It crashed. Uh, print spawn area, print spawn area. Well, 
well, this is basically the console. You can see what's going on. If there's any crashes or anything. Whoa. Um. Um. Yeah. I'm running at nine FPS per second. Oh, and you can see the raised minerva on top right hand corner. And yeah, I think it crashed on me or something, guys. Um, I think yeah, it just crashed. Oh, seven quit. Yep, man. There we go. I don't. I think it crashed. I don't know. Well, anyway. It's it's a real handy software you can use anytime, anywhere. But the unfortunate thing is, you can't. You can only edit your core, your mods, and your Java mod. Um, if you want to, really, um, you can just go to here. If you want to edit your resources or anything, you just go to where's test test video there is, and you go to refolder, and you can edit your resources in resources anything from this place and yeah that's basically it oh well, thanks for watching this was a this was a simple tutorial of how to do this stuff and how I can install a lot of mods really fast and easy and thanks for watching goodbye